I am here with Melissa Thunder Rose Cervantes. Now, Melissa, you're gonna be making your pro debut next week, November 8th in San Antonio. Now, you're coming from the wrestling world. Yes. And um, now you're making your M MMA debut. How has that transition for you? Uh, it's been uh, interesting, I yeah. can say the least. Um, there's a lot of things that you have to learn that not, you don't have necessarily as a professional wrestler. Right. But at the same time, I, I feel like as a professional wrestler, I have some advantages that you know some fighters might not have, like being in front of a huge crowd and not being absolutely nervous or not being focused about it. Now, where are you training at? And how are you preparing your fight to make that transition? I am training at Brazilian Top Team in San Antonio, Texas. And um, we're basically focusing on my strengths and uh, we've been working a lot on things that I need to work on in terms of, uh, you know, cage work uh, on, on bottom, uh, being on bottom, being on top and all, all that stuff, striking, everything, right. pretty much everything. You being a professional wrestler, obviously the ground game is going to be your forte. What is the striking like for you? Um, you know, for those that who don't know you in the MMA world, what can you say? What's your fighting style? And I will say I I feel very comfortable on in, in, in the ground. Yeah. And um, striking is always getting better. Like it, the thing is, like with with MMA, you have to practice all the time. It's not. It's all about reps, reps, reps. And I think that's one thing that I have shown in in my progression throughout all this year that I've been training. It's, it's progression, you know. And um, I'm always seeking for perfection, but it's not perfection, it's pro uh, progress, not perfection, right? So on this one, I am going to just put everything out there and I'm going to give my best. And I um, I think in this sport, like it's all about respect and gaining respect. Um, and I think because I'm a pro wrestler, some people might not respect that. However, they have to respect the fact that I have sacrificed, I have bleed, cried, everything in that cage because I want to be the best that I can be in there and as, as a professional fighter. What's the biggest challenge for you um, doing MMA? The biggest challenge is, I will say, uh, you know, working as a professional wrestler right. and training MMA. That's very t uh, taxing on your body. Um, there was at one point in where, uh, because of my schedule and professional uh, being a, a wrestler, was uh, it was very difficult to be on the cage and it was very painful. However, I'm used to the pain. I worked uh, injured night after night after night and I went through it and you know, I now I learn a lot about recovery. I learn a lot about taking care of your body, of your mind and everything. That's very important. I think that makes a difference sometimes from uh, being a great uh, fighter and being the best fighter. And what was the decision like to become an MMA fighter? Is that something as a little girl you always thought you wanted to fight or become a fighter? You know, being in the Mexican community, boxing is the thing to go. You know why, why MMA? It was it's with the wrestling with, with MMA, MMA, like it came to me. Yeah. And I always feel like when opportunities like that come to me, uh, I have to take them because it's like this is one of the most challenging things I ever done in my life. I thought wrestling was one, but this one definitely take the cake um, it, like I said it takes a lot of time training uh, a lot of discipline a lot of commitment and uh, that I think that's again that that's what uh, makes the difference between being uh, a great performer and being an awesome performer right now you said you're not gonna get nervous because you performed over, you know in front of a huge crowd MMA is different um, what do you think the crowd's gonna be like um, for you coming out to an MMA fight and this being your pro debut next week? Well, uh, the advantage is uh, it's going to be in San Antonio. I live in San Antonio. Yeah. So um, I've been like selling a lot of tickets and I've been promoting a lot just like, you know, it's, it's, it's another wrestling show, but this one is, it's, it's for real. Like I am, I am ready and I am ready to take on my opponent with, who I know is very hungry and who I respect highly because she's also uh, looking for that respect. Do you know anything about your opponent? What's her fighting style? Her fighting style, she is, she's very interesting. I mean, you see her fights and all her fights are different, all of them. The first one she was like uh, doing uh, one twos, one twos. The second one she was mostly wrestling with the other person. Um, she does, she has finished all her opponents, four of her opponents with, she was amateur as uh, TKOs uh, with, a, with a right. Um, and her last, 
her last fight was uh, an LAF, an LFA. Or, I'm sorry, and she uh, lost that one uh, with uh, by via armbar. So uh, she was showing there uh, that transition from her striking. Now she was doing a lot of more kicks. So I know she's well-rounded. She's a well-rounded fighter. Uh, she's a great on, on ground. She uh, has a lot of competition. She's a purple belt. So um, I definitely have a lot in my on my plate. But right. you know what? It's, it's MMA. It's always 50-50 chance that you can win. Any shout outs before we end this interview? I want to give a great shout out. Great. A shout out to mm -hmm. all my team, uh, BTT, for uh, taking me on and uh, believing in me. Uh, definitely, they have uh, built me as as a fighter, as a pro MMA fighter, and they trust me. And I also want to give a shout out to my husband and my son, Brian and An Brian, my husband, and Anak and my son for for sticking with me and for you know. I feel bad because I I miss so many games and so many things because I really want to do this and and they believe in me. So thank you and to all my fans that have bought tickets first first row thank you guys and for buying the shirts and for my sponsors for for allowing me to be here without you guys i probably wouldn't even be able to make it well you, good luck on making your mma debut you guys make sure you tune in next week november 8th in san antonio yes. you got melissa thunder rose cervantes is going to be making her debut good luck thank you <laughs>